Inflation is running red hot around the world, with central banks scrambling to reset monetary policy by raising interest rates. COVID-19's long tail is contributing to the supply chain chaos, which cannot keep up with strong demand for goods. But how much monetary tightening depends crucially on mutual interest rates? To discuss, I'm joined by MBR columnist John McDermott. Hi, John. Hi. So tell me, how do we compare neutral interest rates to the official cash rate? Yeah, that's an important question uh, and one central banks have been worrying about for a while now. Uh, the big difference is neutral interest rates are the interest rates, th this hypothetical interest rate that would neither add nor subtract from the economy. So it would neither add to inflation or pull back inflation. Where well, the official cash rate is the, is the rate that um, the central bank essentially funds the system and then that pass, they pass that on to the banks and then they charge you know, various customers for mortgages. So will neutral interest rates help tame uh, this inflation beast? Yeah, the critical part here is it's the difference between neutral and the official cash rate. So as soon as the official cash rate goes above neutral, that's when it'll start to calm inflation. And right now, the Reserve Bank have only just got their interest rate, their official cash rate, at neutral. So they need to do more. OK, so are neutral interest rates falling or rising at the moment? A fascinating question, and economists are arguing about that one. Over the last decade, they've been falling. They've been falling because more people have been in the workforce globally, um, or there's more savings, or the, the need for investment has been falling. So, they, But right now, there's been a big change in the world. Um, Globalisation seems to have eased back. Um, more people are starting to retire. And that's reversed the trend. And so we're just getting the first signs that neutral interest rates are creeping upwards. So how does this affect the path of OCR hikes? So unfortunately, it makes the job of the Reserve Bank a little bit harder. If, if neutral interest rates are low, pushing in the official cash rate up a little bit, you get to that restrictive zone, the zone where you control inflation a lot faster. Now they're just going to have to do m even more work than would otherwise be the case. Mm. You mentioned new global developments are weighing on this neutral interest rate. Should central banks be concerned by that? Well, it makes the job even more difficult. It, it creates uncertainty in the environment. You think about digital currencies, uh, climate change, all these change the, the global trends that we've been witnessing over the last 10 years. So where things go is less certain and the, the, the central banks have to guess and they have to feel their way forward uh, and actually try and communicate that where they themselves don't really know. So are they threats and are there more threats on the horizon? Well, it, um, it, it's really a, th a situation where the central bank's job has been easier over, over the years as neutral has fallen and it's now just got harder. Um, and when you had five big forces moving neutral interest rates down, uh, the, the wind was behind the back, if you like. It was all very easy. And now we're going to say, have they all changed? Have some changed? Hard to say. But uh, odds on, it's not going to be as easy as it was. Okay. Thanks very much for your time. My pleasure.